Find a seat there, please. So let me introduce uh, Dr. Ken Rodney. Thanks everybody for coming. Um, I am exceptionally fortunate that I get to fly this piece of history. And one of the best things about it is sharing it with other people. And it's important that we understand what this airport did, people that designed it, people that built it, people that took care of it, people that fought these things. Uh, out of 15,000 P-51s, there's currently about 160 that are flyable. And uh, I'm one of the lucky guys who gets to fly one. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to know how many, how many pilots do we have on the group? We got about half our guys from pilots. How about model airplane fanatics? Okay, so we got a lot of those too. There's a lot of crossbreeding between model airplane fanatics and real pilots. And uh, when I give rides in Lady Alice, uh, a lot of times I'll kind of scrunch forward, have the guy in the back seat loosen his lap belt, but not the parachute. Reach over forward. And I find that if a guy's been flying model airplanes for a while, he could probably fly that Mustang. But if a guy's been flying real airplanes, he may or may not be able to fly that Mustang. So there you have it. <laughs> okay, obviously we have a malfunction already on the audio oh, picture. Next. There we next. go. Uh, this, is a, this is just a, a three view of the P-51. Uh, in World War II, it was strictly a... a ...in her service during World War II and was key in gaining air dominance over the German Luftwaffe. Come join me as I fly in a P-51 Mustang for the very first time. Pilot and owner Dr. Ken Wagner introduces me to Lady Alice in the sky. Second thing is, you can't have the canopy open on takeoff. So you got to close the canopy, we're sitting there like this, got it stopped. All you can see is the nose of the airplane sticking up like this, and you can see out the side both ways. So how do you keep it straight? Well, you just have to be all over those rudders, and people always say it takes a ton of right rudder. Well, some days it does. But if there's a crosswind, it might take some left rudder. So you don't really know what kind of rudder it's going to take. And the secret to the Mustang, as I said in that video, it's all about, about twice and then it drops a wing, usually on the left side, and it's upside down in a microsecond. Uh, we didn't explore that with you today, we could have, but the first lesson at Stallion is to go up high, be in a right bank, slow it down, and it shakes twice and you're upside down rolling to the left. So the laminar flow wing is not without its problems, but the purpose of it was to have greater speed. Another thing that's interesting just uh, tracks like a like a pattern model airplane. You give it a command, it does it right now. So it's very precise. Uh, the important thing about the Mustang is it's a procedures airplane, and the purpose of the training at Stallion 51 was to know the procedures cold. Uh, it's very important to do everything exactly the same way every time. It's a very unforgiving airplane. So we always go through the checklist couple times, do everything exactly the same. The most important thing is safety, safety, safety. Uh, you notice when we came back down to land that we did it a very specific way. We did what's called the overhead brake. Uh, we do that because going downhill, we're way over 200 knots. And we have to slow down to 150 knots to get the gear down. The way we do that is we uh, overfly the runway at about uh, 1,000 feet AGL above ground level. We crank about a 60 degree bank, pull a three and a half G turn, and that bleeds off a lot of that speed. We put the flaps down to about 20 degrees. Once the airspeed drops below 150, we drop the gear, turn base, slow down to about 130, down to 120, turn final, down to 40 degrees of flap, and as you notice, we kept a little power on. Uh, set an attitude, is settle it gently on the runway, and then come off the rest of the power. And then, all over the rudder. 
because the Mustang typically does not want to stay on the runway.